This is a tutorial to show you the use of the abstract plugin. The abstract plugin is from graphicextras.com. You can find it at this location, AI underscore plugins. It's volume one of the set, it's for CS5, CS4, etc. Also works on PC and Mac. It's also it's part of a set of other plugins, so there's actually duplication and a circular plugin as well. It comes with a set. Right, um, once you've installed it, it's an AIP file and you put it in the plugins path you go to the object menu filters and you'll find it in the here now it does require initial setup so just now just starting up you can actually see a fill plant depends really what you want if you actually want a background sort of abstract background using with fill i mean you could uh, therefore put a uh, uh, black or red or green or whatever in in there but if you want to actually use it just for sort of lines uh, approach, then basically you get rid of the fill. So I'm just going to cancel that point, remove the fill, and I'm just going to add any stroke, and so that. And now just go to the object menu again, abstract, and you can obviously you can see now the strokes here. Actually, what it is is a number of lines. So there's a hundred lines. So there's actually a hundred lines there. If you want to count them, all. one, two, three, four, five. Six. Anyway, there's a hundred there. I have counted them times. Um, it's great fun. Now, you can actually increase obviously the number of lines, and again, randomizes every time. So you just see more and more. Obviously, the more and more lines you have, the more and more structure you have here. Right. You can also increase the number of line sets so this is one line set actually increase that so say two three so you can just see loads more lines each of those lines will have 121 actual lines you can also so i'm just going to put it back down to one make it a bit clearer you can decrease the jitter distance that's the distance that they're i mean they're all randomized so they're all some are they're less than 400 so it could be between five or ten or 100 whatever so i'm just going to put it down to 100 so you can see it reduced down that's in one direction and reduce down so you can just see they're a lot smaller now so i'll put it back to 400 so it's more visible and okay you can click the shuffle so it will just randomize going through hundreds and hundreds of variations of abstract designs you can create using this now you're thinking well it's just straight lines i don't want straight lines i want curved well you can actually set the curve let's put a curve in there so you actually get a curved maybe 200 make it even more it doesn't allow more than that so it's only 100 uh -huh. anyway that's the curve so you can actually again see shuffle through so you can see a whole range of different curved designs now you can also randomize the color of the fill so shuffle so you can actually see now there's reds I'm just going to purple and so on and so on you can change, randomize the width so you can actually get very thin lines it all works between the value of here seven point so to down to zero points so you can actually all these these ones will might be like 1.2 1.3 no idea actually what they are what they're randomized to so you just go through that now i'm just going to go back to the number of line sets so you can increase those and each of those line sets will have a different randomized value so you actually see thin lines there as well as slightly thicker lines you can create a really abstract very unusual of course they still pass so as soon as you exit out you can actually if you want you can actually join them all together if you want to do that also now i'm just going to quickly you can change the opacity so that actually some are sort of faded or some are obviously set at uh, standard uh, 100%. You can randomise the curve. So some of the lines are not so curved as the, the setting. So it's 100, it's between 100. So it's actually randomised between that value. There's other settings like the view bound. So it actually set it as the screen. Also, you can put layers, which actually puts it to the actual line. Obviously, the... Uh, create multiple layers so you can create one two three four five six seven, and then you can move each of those independently these the different sets doesn't work obviously if you just want one it's just 
puts it onto the scene. Again, you can randomize the fill if there is a fill. So obviously if there's a, a fill there, you could actually randomize that. So there's a whole range of different settings for that. Now, there's also a section down here that you might find interesting, but I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna click OK at that point. So just quickly show you those paths that actually do exist. So there's all those paths you can actually obviously select each of them individually, or you can group them as a entire group. So of course you can then change the colours and mess around with those, apply different effects, maybe apply the width profile to the design. And of course now it's going to be very slow, but uh, there's now a width profile applied to all those paths. Undo stroke. Right. Just going to get rid of that. Just going to go back into the plugin. There's also presets. So there's a selection of presets here that you can use. I'm just going to quickly just want to show you those. But the key thing, I'm just going to reduce it back down. Reset. Just want that. Click OK. Now delete that quickly. I'm just going to select a path. I'm just going to put a path here. So it's obviously just a very basic path, but uh, I'm just going to keep that selected, and then go back to the plugin, abstract, and now the plugin actually includes the path that you've selected at each of the points. Obviously, you could again create multiple layers of these these paths, but uh, I'm just going to. And it also you can actually randomize the angle. There's a selected path. So each of those selected paths can be now randomized to the different angle. As well as random the scale. So each of the paths can be scaled differently. Now this, this works with symbols, so it could be like text as well as as other like gradients and, and tons of other things. So it's not just stuck to just a, a rectangle. It could obviously be a circle as well. Wow. Uh, and more, much more. Right, so once you click OK, of course you can then, if you wish, you can actually delete the underlying path. And you've got a, an unusual abstract structure as well of different uh, path shapes that's been created using that uh, plugin.